G'day and welcome to Cloud Cartographer. One thing I wanted to do this afternoon was actually show a really cool demo of something that I get asked a lot of and that's uh, how do I automate uh, certificate creation using only Kubernetes ingress resources. So there's a really quick and easy way to do that using two charts in the upstream Kubernetes charts repo. I'm going to walk you through a demo and hopefully get you up to speed so that you can start provisioning your own Let's Encrypt certificates uh, really quickly and easily. I'm going to start by using Helm here and I'm going to do an inspect on a chart called uh, in the stable repository called uh, cube-lego and that chart is the Let's Encrypt uh, Go package wrapped up in a nice little um, uh, a nice little chart. I'm doing an inspect to see what I can actually tweak here and I'm going to set two variables on input config.lego underscore email and config.lego underscore URL. I'm going to take the production URL for Let's Encrypt and set that up. So now we can do a helm install. Um, uh, we want to install the stable cube lego chart and we're going to set config dot lego email to lachlan at deus .com. and I'm also going to set the lego URL to equal the production URL and actually before we let's take a look at what is what helm is exactly going to do before we install it using debug dash dash dry run that'll actually spit out the rendered uh, Kubernetes resources for me. So we're still using the staging, so maybe I messed up the Lego URL value here. Yes, I did. I didn't do config.lego URL config. So let's just run that again. I'm overriding those two uh, default variables in the values.yaml. Okay, so we're using the production URL, great and my email here. So we can go ahead and drop the dash dash dry run and dash dash debug and this should spin up. Okay, billowing lobster. So it's coming up and running. I'll get a log on on this too while that's happening. Cube cuddle log dash f. So at this point, I'd expect it not to do too much. It's going to wait for ingress records that are, have the following annotations. This, so tls-acme is true, and um, it's also going to look for a host to f figure out what host name to provision a certificate for. Okay, so that is the cube Lego part. So we have something that listens on ingress resources with that annotation and goes out and asks let's encrypt for a certificate for it. Um, I've got the log file running here. Next I'm going to install helm install uh, stable uh, nginx ingress. So I'm going to install the nginx ingress controller onto this cluster and it's going to look for ingress records, which I have none currently, so quaffing ostrich is up and running, and great. Okay, so let's get a log file on that too, just to watch the whole process as we go through it. We'll put a logs here. Log is deprecated. Okay, so currently nothing in the log files, that's fine. Now, the final piece of this puzzle is good old famous old Croc Hunter. Um, I can install Croc Hunter, and in Croc Hunter, I actually have it render a, an ingress record re, uh, resource. So I'm going to create a new record here, call it Croc Hunter 4 at that name, um, and we can install this chart. Before we do the install, I'm just going to pop over here and in Route 53. Um, I'm going to add Croc Hunter. You need to actually create a DNS record that pushes um, an A record into the interface, which will be um, a service type load balancer on your Kubernetes record that hits the um, ingress controller. Okay, so I'm going to create an alias here which maps to an ELB, and I'm going to create Croc Hunter 4. Boom. 
So now that record now exists. Can pop back to my demo over here, and I can do an install of Croc Hunter. Let me see. Okay, so this has created an ingress, a service, and a deployment. I'm not sure why my logs aren't moving here, but what's actually happening here is you can see it's going out. Process certificate request, it's going to ask for this. Um, let's make sure the kubectl get pods. The ingress controller is actually up. I may have been tailing the default backend. Kubelogs F. Oh, yes, I was. Okay, so if we go back here, you can see that it's creating Croc Hunter. Um, updating and reloading. It's waiting. The secret does not actually exist right now. And the interesting thing here is I don't actually see my challenge come through. So the way um, Let's Encrypt actually confirms that I own this is it, it sets up a challenge. Let's see if I can actually get a Croc Hunter 4 is not resolving to anything. Oh, you know why? Because I'm probably pointing to an ELB that no longer exists. Okay, we can debug that. Cube cuddle, uh, describe service. I just need to grab the ingress controller ELB, which is this one, and update that. My apologies. Quick little detour on the demo. I had this set up for the last one. And maybe just to circumvent caching, what we can do here is set up another record. Croc Hunter 5. This is good because you get to see how this all works. And I'm going to point it to the new ELB, so that should resolve immediately. Let's make sure that that is the case. Because I've never looked it up. Okay. Um, not as of yet. There we go. Okay, so we do actually have it looking up now. So what I'm going to do here is do a Helm list. You should see that I have Cube Lego, Croc Hunter, and Engine X. Oh, so it finally did update. So the good thing is um, now that I updated Croc Hunter 4, you see that we get a successful um, authorization. It's going to create the certificate under the namespace. It's going to be called this. And that's actually mapped inside that um, that ingress to terminate it. So I should be able to to go through here and just hit that name now, and I'll have a certificate. You can see down here the challenge got sent through. Um, so Let's Encrypt actually came to grab the challenge, and Let's Encrypt uh, validated it. We're all good to go. We've had a, a router reboot. So if I do croc hunter four dot cats dot s we should see um, if my browser comes through. Yay, okay, so let me just double check that this is actually good. Security, we have a certificate by Let's Encrypt. I am all secure and I have my app up and running, which is fantastic. We'll just do one or two other things here. Cube cuddle get uh, ingress in the Croc Hunter namespace. So this is what um, Helm went and created when I did the install. And if we do a dash o yaml, you'll be able to see that I have those annotations. Engine ingress class. So that tells the Nginx ingress controller um, that it's to process it. And TLS Acme tells the Cube Lego to actually go and get a certificate. Um, for it and this TLS host down here says the host name so the common name on the on the certificate gets set to um, whatever is in this field so just to recap I did a helm install of the cube Lego chart and I configured it to point at the production API and gave it an email address so that I get notifications cube Lego will actually do auto renewal of your certificates as well it's a great little um, it's a, uh, a great little uh, container. Um, hats off to the folks that wrote it. Um, it's fantastic. 
Um, uh, so Cubelego will do that and more you can create certificates for use anywhere. I'm using them with the uh, Nginx-Ingress controller which allows me to simply just create an ingress record and then Cubelego will go and get a certificate, lay it down as a secret and uh, the ingress controller will look for that secret and start serving that um, certificate out of that secret to front end my, um, my web app. And that's all there is to it so thank you very much for joining. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, but hopefully this was uh, beneficial. Thank you. Have a great afternoon or evening or morning, wherever you are. Cheers. Bye.